In this video, we'll cover how to use subgraphs within the Lingraph Studio UI. This is some new functionality we added this week. Previously, when working with subgraphs, you wouldn't have any indication that a node was a subgraph. You'd just see the node. You wouldn't be able to see inside it, and you wouldn't get any updates as the node was progressing. Now we've changed that. So you'll see that nodes that are subgraphs have this little graph icon, and you can click on it. When you expand it, you'll see the graph that's inside. If there's a subgraph within a subgraph, you'll also be able to expand that. And you can keep on doing this in a nested fashion for as long as you want. When you interact with the graph, it'll also show you more details about what's happening. So let's type in a message like, what's the weather in SF? That happened rather quickly, but you saw that as it progressed down in the graph, it started to expand the subgraphs. You can also do all the human in the loop things that you could with regular graphs. So here we actually paused for a human in the loop interaction pattern halfway through the graph. And we can click into this C subgraph steps. I'll come back to that later. And we can see that we're paused at this point in time. We can click continue and we can resume in the graph and we get back an answer. As I mentioned, we have the C subgraph steps. So now for nodes that are subgraphs, you can click inside it and see the steps that happened. And if there are subgraphs within subgraphs, you can keep on doing that. You can also modify nodes and time travel. So here I can edit this city and instead of San Francisco, I can say SF. I can then fork it and it will continue. You see here that it's updated as the final response. I can also replay entire graphs. So here I can rerun the subgraph and it will rerun everything and we'll see it progress and then it finishes with the final response there. Subgraphs are really powerful for building multi-agent systems and we've added much better support for them within Langraph Studio. And so we're excited to see what you build.